Hey y'all, <clears throat> this is Coach in the Fight here. I'm going to do a little bit of class on Hermes. Going back to Hermes, Hermes is a very important book. Um, it teaches us, you know, the virtues that you hear about on, on, um, on, you know, our end of our show. We say we teach virtues, or this is where we get our teaching from. Hermes is, um, the Shepherd of Hermes is a book written by the Angel of Repentance, okay? Um, and he shared some, uh, a lot of information um, um, and instruction as far as what our repentance looks like in the eyes of the Lord and what we should be doing in order to get back with the Lord. Um, before I get into it, I want to say that I personally believe that this tower that the Hermes is building is of the envoys, the, the uh, emissaries. Or the gods, if you know what I mean. If you don't know those terms, then you know I really wasn't talking to you. <laughs> but if you know what the envoys are, I believe the tower is the envoys. The tower is the envoys. The tower is the emissaries. Um, and so it's very important. Um, if you watched my last video, we were kind of praying for the emissaries. Um, now we're going to try to do a little bit of work. So again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Just ignore that whole part. You know, I mean, Hermes is still is good for everybody. So this is a bit of an introduction. We're going to go ahead and do the first part of it as part of this introduction. We're going to go through the whole series. There are 12 commands in, in here. These um, that you're going to notice that they are, they, they do touch on the commandments, but they do the, the 10 commandments that you find in Exodus 20. But, you know, they do um, expound on them a lot. And there are some that, you know, aren't really there and some that are in the the commandments that aren't here like for instance keeping a sabbath day is not one of these commands and you know it's not a contradiction it's not you know something different this is this is uh hermits and he's talking about repentance whereas that one over there was talking about the law so you know he doesn't really have to tell you about the sabbath day because he comes back and tell you that you have to follow all of the laws anyway so we're going to jump right into Hermes. Hope I didn't confuse you guys too much. Stay with me, y'all. We're going to try to roll through it pretty quickly. You know how we do. Here we go. All right, introduction. It says, when I prayed at home and was sat down upon the bed. Okay, now you remember in vision one. If it's the first one you've seen, you've actually missed the first part, which is vision one. When you uh, see Hermes um, as he has a vision you know, where he's kind of, you know, taken to, through some places, kind of like um, John was in the book of Revelations. Uh, this guy, Hermes, goes through a similar uh, uh, scene. He goes through a similar experience where he, start, where he talks with, you know, beings from the spirit world. That's basically what he's doing. He, he's, he's taken into a vision-like state so that he can communicate on a spirit level. He communicates with the church. He communicates with our Messiah. He communicates with the angel of repentance. Um, now, one of the things the angel of repentance did is gave him these commands. Let's go on. And a certain man came in to me with a reverend look. Okay. Now, in vision one, you kind of, it was vision, in visions, it was a really overview, but you didn't hear from the angel of repentance. You heard from the church. You heard from the church in, in the form of the lady in white uh, that represented the church. Well, here you're getting somebody else. Look, he says he came, uh, a certain man came with a reverend look in a habit of a shepherd. Okay, because this is going to be the shepherd. Clothed with a white cloak, having a bag up on his back and his staff in his hand and saluted me. So he's got the, I'm, I'm not sure what the significance of the bag and the staff, other than they are, you know, tools used for a shepherd. For him to list them here, you know, he didn't list, you know, how many shoestrings he had on or, you know, something like that. So this stuff obviously has uh, meaning. I just don't know what it is. You know what it is? Leave it in the comments. <clears throat> Verse 2. And I returned the salutation and immediately he sat down by me and said unto me, I am sent by that venerable messenger that I should dwell with thee all of the remaining days of the life. Okay, now this venerable messenger, you don't, we don't know who this is yet. Even if you've gone through vision one, you still don't know who this venerable messenger is. You don't even know who this guy is that's talking to you yet. So let's just roll with it. But I thought that he was come to try me and said unto him, who are you? For I know to whom I am committed. He said unto me, do you not know me? Okay, so he knows who he's committed. It means he knows who the Lord is. You know, he knows the voice of the Lord. He knows who is this guy coming in, sitting down beside him, you know, talking about, you know. No, it, it, it don't look familiar. He don't look familiar. But watch this. 
He said, do you not know me? I answered, no. I am, said he, the shepherd to whom's care you are delivered. Okay. Now, <clears throat> um, if you're vision one, we got to keep referring to this thing. Just, just because, you know, you have to know what's going on. He's, he, he has some communication with the church, but when she went away, she left him in the hands of some, of some other people. He, she didn't. She didn't stick around and she didn't take him with him. So you got this guy here. Let's find out who he is. Verse four. Whilst he was yet speaking, his shape changed. And when I knew that it was he to whom I was committed, I was ashamed. Okay. Now his shape didn't change, but is Hermes in a vision here? It didn't say he did it. He said he was laying up on his bed. So he's not in a vision here. He's not, I mean, in vision one is when we talked about he was, you know, taking into these rocky places that no man can can pass for, you know, water. But here, he he's, he was started off. Let's go back to the other one. He says, he, when I prayed at home, he's at home now. And so he's seeing this individual here and he's at home. Okay. I was ashamed and sudden fear came upon me and I was utterly overcome with sadness because I had spoken so foolishly unto him so he's he knows he's speaking to a divine creature it's not um, the lord himself it's not god himself but he knows he's speaking to a, um, a heavenly creature and he realized he's disrespected him in his zeal to you know stay loyal to you know to whom he was committed verse five but he said unto me be not ashamed but receive strength in your mind through the commands which I am about to deliver unto thee. Okay, guys, this is again, this is an introduction. These commands haven't started yet. You, you're gonna get down, let me show you. When we get down, we're gonna get into these commands. That's command one, that's command two. They're gonna be, that, that, I'm, that's, that's gonna be the extent of that show. This one is here is long because this chapter is a little bit longer. Yeah. But, you know, we almost finished with it. Too. <clears throat> well, let's see, did I skip? Mm -hmm. For he said, I am sent to show unto thee all of those things again, which thou hast seen before, but especially such of them as may be of most use unto thee. Okay, so you've gone through visions. If you haven't, go listen to visions. You ain't got to listen to, you know, um, you know, I, I didn't, I, you ain't got to listen to our classes on it. You, you got to know what's going on here. Find something to read, Hermits. It's on YouTube. You know, just put in the Shepherd of Herdman's vision, visions, and you can hear the whole book. Um, so you should know, so you can catch up to speed here. But you don't have to. You know, if you don't have much time, this these commands gonna still help you out. It's just you know, you, you don't have really have the background of what's going on. But you can learn the commands without the background. You can stay with me if you you know want to just go get visions later. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Where are we? Um, so, but he, he says, but he's, which thou has seen before. So he's talking about the vision. That's why I keep referring because he keeps referring to the vision, vision in the first part of this three part book. And he said he's already shown him, but now he's going to expound on him, especially such of them as, as, as be that as may be of most use unto thee. So he's going to talk about these. And first of all, write my commands and similitudes. Okay, now this Hermes is a three-part book. It's visions, commands, and similitudes. We're coming from the William Wake um, translation. If you're not sure, you can find that on the web. Just put in William Wake Hermes of Shepherd and get a PDF and download it to the computer. You need to be taking it to Kinko's, if not print it out, unless you only want to purchase a copy. If you want to purchase a copy, you find it in the Lost Books at the Bible, for God Books of Eden. But we got all of that on there. Look through my other things. We got a lot of introductions on this book. Let me just move on. Because if you if you want to know this, you can find it. Um, <clears throat> we need to get through commands. He says, but he's saying to write them. The rest thou shalt so write as I shall show unto thee. Okay. But I therefore bid thee, first of all, write my commands and similitudes. So he's, he's told him twice to write the commands portion and the similitudes portion. If you watch visions, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to quit saying that. You, you kind of notice why I did it the way I did it, where I just kind of reposted somebody else's work. It's because he didn't tell me to write it, you know. The meaty part comes in, in, in commands and similitudes. Visions was kind of introductory. That's why we spend more time with commands and similitudes. But we're going to finish commands, hope, prayfully today. 
that by often reading of them thou mayest be the more easy that thou mayest the more easily keep them in memory so he's saying write them you know so that you can remember them and it's very important to remember them uh, and apply these in our life all right verse 7 says whereupon I wrote these commands and similar putudes as he bade me so Hermas is the obedient the obedient uh, servant he wrote them down he said which things if when you have heard you shall observe to do them and shall walk according to them and exercise yourself in them with a pure mind okay notice all this stuff he say it's, it's notice that if statement anytime the Bible says if that's probably the most important word in the Bible because he because he, he's, he's giving you choices here and you know we go through life and you know we want to make proper choices well do a search for the word if throughout the Bible and you know read this kind of stuff because it is a lot of stuff say if you do this this is gonna happen so he's saying observe to do them I mean you gotta do them you can't just read them he said walk according to them meaning your actions are in a, in accordance with these you know you take an action not just remember it and say hey, I know Hermes but you actually walk in Hermes and he says and exercise yourself in them okay and with a pure mind you shall receive from the Lord those things which he has promised you I told you it's important how you don't do you not want the things that he's promised you of course you do well how are you going to get them you wonder why you don't get them you know I know I have you know I know the promises of the Lord the Bible's full of them but yet I'm looking around and I don't I do not see the material manifestation of many of them you know and you know it's maybe this is the reason why it says I have to observe to do them walk in accordance with them exercise myself with a pure mind then I will get those promises all right verse 9 says but if having heard them you shall not repent and I do see the material manifestation I'm trying to you know speak from you know humbly here you know I've actually tried this stuff in Hermes I'll put this to the test and I can prove I see a whole lot of it. I, I'm gonna be honest I see a whole lot of fruits of this stuff you know if if I were if my conscience would allow me to take pictures you know you know I could take video videos this happy homestead that we live on you know we completely off grid you know no light bills water bills none of that kind of you know stuff you know we grow our own food you know we 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 we, we are we are now let's not talk about that i'm just saying I, I see benefits what verse 8 is true and i'm living proof of it verse 9 says but if having heard them ye shall not repent but shall go on to add to your sins ye shall be punished by them now this now this gonna might scare some people they're like wait 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 so you mean if I don't hear them and I don't do them, I won't be punished? I mean, if I don't hear them, then I won't be punished? Well, ig ignorance is bliss. I don't know. I'm gonna let you be the judge. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know, um, say that verse nine. Verse nine is is an error because it's definitely right. It's, you know, let me read it again. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. If having heard them, you shall not repent. Okay. So once we go through the commands and the similitudes. You're expected to repent of some of the stuff. And that and that's why you're reading this. Why you're looking at this is because you want to know how to get right with the Lord. You obviously clicked on this because you're searching for truth. You're tired of um, the way things are, where we are grounded, so to speak, in this whole spirituality thing. We don't have our spiritual wings or they are battered and we can't fly. And you want to know how you can get up off the ground. Well, here's what we're talking about. We, we're going to give these commands. We're going to give some similitudes or examples or parables in the next section. We're going to apply these things to our life. What they say? Well, for pure mind. And we're going to get these blessings, right? And we're not going to worry about these punishments. He says, um, verse 10 says, All these things that the shep that shepherd, the angel of repentance, commanded me. All right, so that's it for this one. Let me see. Hermes Academy. Power, patience, continence, and faith. We teach virtue.